like in. Be like the better Akatagawa sibling. And the smartest cookie in all of the Port Mafia. And wear your face masks. Hello bitches, are you ready for another impromptu sewing tutorial slash crafting thingamabob? Because I am. Well, I'm saying impromptu, it's not that impromptu. It's something I've been um, planning to do for some time, but then never gotten around or never felt like doing. And now I kind of felt this sudden rush of motivation come over me, which is a very rare occurrence these days. So I felt like I'm gonna do it now. I thought of giving you my unmade, zitty, weird looking face from the crafting vlog but then I was like no, no I don't want to edit that again. Like you don't want to look at it again and I don't want to edit it again. So I put on some makeup, I don't know if this makes it better. What is it that we're making? We're making, um, what is it that we're making? We're making the face mask of Gin Akutagawa from Bungo Stray Dogs because Ooh, let me tell you friends, I have recently entered a rabbit hole of anime and manga that I have not been in ever since I was 14 because I was a huge weep when I was 14 and I guess I'm still a weep but not as bad except the person constantly sharing persona memes on her I was that weird anime kid in school that would say kawaii to things and wear ponytails and a checkered skirt and <sighs> it doesn't matter it's cool like I don't want to shit on weebs too much or on weeaboos which is worse <laughs> too much because like we all have that phase where we we keep looking for ourselves and where we try out different things and with me I never really fit in with other people at my school and it's been a struggle and if you're feeling the same way, don't feel awkward, don't feel weird, just do your thing, there's people for you out there. I'm still a nerd, I'm still a geek. I mean, I play Dungeons and Dragons every first day for fuck's sake, but uh, I kind of shifted my interests a little bit. I got into comic books, which I don't read too much these days either, films, video games, all of that stuff, all that jazz. And very recently, my sister introduced me to this sweet little anime slash manga called Bungo Stray Dogs which I am now addicted to isn't that great? I've entered the fandom hell once again and here I am since this whole nouveau plague kind of we're doing a redo of 1919 thing with the whole pandemic seems to be sticking I thought I'd make something geeky but also functional. So I'm making Gin's face mask. That's a cool idea. I hope this works. I have these pattern pieces prepared. Uh, they're not a fully ready-made pattern yet. I have to retrace them so that my printer slash scanner can pick them up. Otherwise I can't get them into PDF form and I would really like to get them into PDF form because, and you'll see in a bit, I would not like to cut them apart. But more on that soon. Um, all I did was I have those, my mum brought those to me. Those are like um, DIY face masks uh, that you can just sew onto each other and then they look like this. I need to fix this one actually. <laughs> look at it. I need to fix it. Which is why it's been lying on my desk for like two weeks. Maybe. <clears throat> We're gonna talk about it. Uh, and it's gonna look like this. So uh, what I did was, since I don't really have a face mask pattern, uh, I traced those pieces, I, I'm gonna sew them together later on, I traced those pieces onto a piece of paper and then I outlined what I would want it to look like, to look like Gin's face mask. I will probably like pop some sort of picture somewhere um, so that you can see those among you who are not geeks weebs and weird like me <laughs> I'm gonna trace that, scan it, cut it out and try if that actually works on fabric because I'm a bit scared it might not <laughs> if it doesn't I'm probably gonna have to try a different method which is also fine you know we're, we're fine, we're doing fine 
Um, but the plan is, the plan is that those pieces here will at some point fit right into the other pieces, but, but we'll see. Confident in my skills. You know. Um, and then we have this kind of quilted look. To be honest, I've never quilted anything before. So I'm probably doing this superbly wrong. And I think quilting is probably one of those things that's super underappreciated. Like, it looks very easy and it's like, oh, you're not making clothes, you're just making a blanket. But I feel like that's not really it. <laughs> because it's a lot of precision work. So I have a lot of respect for quilters. Just because it's a different kind of crafting and sewing technique doesn't mean that it's not as hard as anything else. It's just different. Let's get going. Let's do this right now. Sorry, that was my desktop. Let's do this. Okay, I have my pattern pieces cut out. Um, I have a separate printout of this pattern because I want to try different things as well and we're going to see how this works. For now, I've got those picked out. Um, one is a bit bigger than the other one um, because we're going to try and edit onto here like that. The whole zigzags are going to fit into one another neatly, hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> so that will go here and that will have the, um, not the wire, the string that will hold the mask up going through here because Gin has that. Okay, good. No makeup on it. Because <laughs> Gin has that with her uh, mask as well. I have marked off where uh, the wire can, like, those, those are broken, I'm, I'm just harvesting the strings and the wires from them, but those have wires in them, and if you want to, you can put one through there just so that it will fit better when it comes to your nose, put off the little end here where you can then attach the string. So yeah, that's it, I'm going to pin them onto one another, I'm going to see if what I have planned will work out. If not, I have other things in my head that I might have, you know, to fall back onto. Okay, also, quick thing in my bob, something I've missed. Um, I've also, you can see that I've uh, painted lines on here. There we go. Um, just to see that uh, I can get the whole pattern with the... I don't know how to call it, but like, with different strips of fabric going into each other. Um, so I can keep that up. My first idea of making this is to keep it like that and put it onto one another and then just act. Like add some faux seams that would look like those are different strips but it's actually just one piece of fabric. Which is because if you have actual seams you can construct it better. You can just try and puzzle it together and just work around it a bit better but ultimately it's also quicker and easier which is probably better for the people who would just like to bring a little bit of anime into their real life instead of just going full-on cosplay which I'm not planning again cosplay by the way this is just me being bored <laughs> um, so I marked off with little snips um, where those lines would end so that in the end uh, I know how to construct my faux seams. Just a quick thing I wanted to say because it's kind of important-ish. Okay, so I said fuck it and I have a bunch of strippy strips here and I'm just gonna sew along the pinned edges and then I'm gonna end up with little cute little strips. You know what I mean. And hopefully they look the way I want them to look like. I love improvising, it's so much fun. So great. What you get for just <clears throat> randomly jumping up and deciding to make something. Um, I now have a bunch of strips here that I've sew sewn together. Look at them. If they look weird to you, that is because it's all intended. It's all intentional. 
I know what I'm doing, I'm a professional. Okay, what I did, I put them on, what I did is I pinned them on right and right. In this case, this means that you have those strips with those spiky little ends and what you want to do is you want to take one of them with the, how do I explain this? You want to take one of them looking like this. You can see the spiky end here. So it's kind of downward facing and then you want to put the other one on there with the spike upward facing so that when you flip it over you'll have this which when added back together will make the whole pattern of the strips kind of embracing each other in Jin. Jin. That's booze. In Gin's mask. I want to clean up those seams as well because with a mask you might have to wash it a lot so you wouldn't want it to like fray. Uh, I'm gonna add all of those little pieces together and then we'll continue. We'll talk and continue. Okay I'm just gonna talk over this. Boop boop. You can see here my sexy little strippy strips and you can also see how they will possibly Oh, sorry, it's dark, so the only light available is my room light, so you will have to deal with that shadow. Yeah, you can also see the, the pattern that's ho hopefully, possibly happening, <laughs> if we're lucky. You can already see, like, the way it's probably, hopefully, gonna look like. Maybe. At some point. <laughs> this is gonna be the side piece for later. We're gonna pin those edges, sew them on. Then we're going to have a new piece of fabric and have added all of this together. And then we could technically add the side pieces, I guess. But I'm going to do something else. I want to have a little piece of wire in there. Can you see that? Yeah, a little piece of wire in that. That's what I surgically <laughs> removed from um, other thingies. Mm -hmm. What's that? That is a face mask corpse. Uh, add in there, over here. So I'm gonna add another layer of fabric on the side behind it. And just put the wire in there. For the other layer, you don't have to do the whole strippy thing again. You can just sew a regular... Wait a minute. Uh, you can just sew a regular um, face mask like this and then add both of them together, turn them inside out, and you have the whole thing. So that's what we're gonna do now, I guess. Probably, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this today. I might finish it tomorrow. Okay, so I actually sewed on some of the strips the wrong way. So I can actually show you how I've pinned them together. Um, do you wanna take your strip? Strip. Uh, you have two of the straight edges and then you have the little spike here and then you have a longer wait a minute. and then you have a yeah and then you have a longer straight edge and a shorter straight edge wait a shorter straight edge and a longer short edge and a longer straight edge so what you want to do is you want to take the shorter long edge put it down in front of you with the first strip the short edge is facing upwards and you want to take your second strip you have your little spike here again what you want to do is, you want to take that tiny little edge that will form the spike, again, having the short edge, the short straight edge on front, uh, on top, and the longer one on the bottom, and then you're going to take the spike, and you're going to put the spike where the other straight edge is of the other one, so that you have this tiny little triangle where both of them are overlapping. And then you're going to pin that edge and sew along that edge and then you have a little, yeah well, a little roof. And then you can see uh, when you actually sew the roofs together you get this pattern. I thought it might also be a good idea to show you how I attach the strips to one another. You have your little, uh, what the fuck did I do? I know what I did. Wait a second. <laughs> Everything's going great. But that's like the thing, whenever you make patterns yourself, 
which is something I'm not super experienced in, but it usually means trying out stuff and seeing what works. Okay, you have your little, your little roofy roof. I should probably iron these, but I haven't ironed the other ones and I'm probably just going to iron the whole part when I'm done with it, and I'm going to do that tomorrow because I don't like ironing. It's boring. <laughs> um, I'm going to take the uh, sharp end of the roof, like the top, and want to put it where the little indent will be on the other, on, on your other strip or full piece of face mask, sorry, uh, I'm talking and trying to focus at the same time. And then pin it on there, choo choo choo, pin it, pin it, pin it, pin it, pin it. Um, and then pull the other two edges, wait, you can't even see that, pull the other two edges up, you know, like you're doing splits, and pin it here, and pin it here, and then sew it on. Uh, and that way you attach them to one another and you will get this nice little pattern. Also, always pin right on right, which is easy to see here because um, you have the little folded edge that happens and you have the ugly edge that happens on the other side. <sighs> Sorry, um, it's late. What time is it? <sighs> yeah, it's almost 11. Done with the main part of my face mask. Look at it. I thought of giving this to my sister, but now I think I've gotten some makeup on it. I thought of making two anyways because I wanted to give one to my sister and one to me. And I think it's important that you keep on trying things on, especially if you're not working with a pattern and you're making the pattern yourself as well. Something which I could have thought of beforehand, but didn't. Um, because I started improvising, is that given the fact that I cut out the strips individually and then edit them together, the whole mask will obviously shrink. Now it's not a problem because for me this is like the perfect size and I find the other one which I um, took that whole pattern thing from uh, to be a bit big. So it's not an issue for me um, but it's something I should have kept in mind. It doesn't matter, I've changed uh, the pattern a little bit as I go on, on my printout so um, I can remake it and then upload it properly. I'm also changing a couple of things about uh, the side pieces because as you can see they're way too big now which again could have thought of that that the whole thing's gonna shrink um, but I'm short gonna shorten them shorten them. <laughs> You see it's getting late. Uh, I'm just going to finish this up and then I'm going to do the back side and the wire and um, the strings tomorrow because I just... I need to sleep people. I also have work tomorrow. I'm going to take a shower, get rid of the makeup. I got, I've already gotten rid of some. It's on the mask now. I'm going to take a shower, go to bed, get up early tomorrow. Hope that I can finish that tomorrow. Okay. But I'm going to add those side flaps. <laughs> Cut them, and get rid of makeup, have a shower, go to bed, and do everything else tomorrow, including ironing, because that way it's going to be nice and flat. Given that I've now, I'm now doing it by uh, using the individual strips, it's not a big problem if it's too small or too big to you for you, because you can just try and add new strips to it. If you're noticing that it's too big or too small or whatever or you could just uh, cut them out a bit bigger than you normally would all right good morning everyone how is everyone doing all right. how is everyone doing so it's the next morning at my business meeting it sounds so cool when i say business meeting <laughs> still can't believe it and now i want to continue working on this bait my Gin Akutagawa uh, face mask that's the word this is how far we got yesterday we have the front piece now I'm just I just pinned it on the same fabric that I had and I'm gonna cut all of it out and then pin it right on right turn it inside out and have a back piece as well important with this one is like this wait a minute here this piece this is where the Oh, that's my wire. It's gonna go here later on. I'm still gonna need to find a way to 
fully fix the wire in there. I'm thinking about just tightly kind of sewing it onto the back side um, here and here to then have it you know fixed in somewhere and this is where the uh, not wires but like strings will go here and here um, so I'm trying to already fit them in there while I sew those pieces onto one another which will just wait that still has a whole <laughs> <laughs> other face mask on it. Usually when they break I keep them so that I can harvest I can harvest them. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna pin it in there like that so that when I flip it uh, It's gonna be in there properly and then I can just turn it around and also in case you're wondering what's like Making those weird sizzling and cracking sounds in case you're hearing them. That's my chili, which is gonna be my lunch slash I don't know Usually, like right now, since I don't really have a fixed day rhythm, I just eat whenever I'm hungry, <laughs> which is generally a good idea, you know. And I haven't had breakfast, but I'm also not feeling particularly hungry, so I feel like I'm probably gonna get hungry fairly early on in the day, and so I just started cooking so that when I'm hungry, I have it. But yeah, that's it. Just gonna cut that out, pin it on there, and sew along the edges. Alrighty, tidy. We're gonna see if this works out or if I should probably work in three pieces as I did with the front side But I'm feeling lazy today <laughs> I've already put way too much effort into this short time project like it's just face mask people chill So I sewed on my little Wire that's the word <laughs> onto my fabric It's also like with this fabric. It's Kind of it doesn't really matter which one you're using as the front side and which one you're not you know it doesn't matter because it looks the same either way um but this will also determine which one's your front side and which one's your back side which will show on the outside and which will be in the inside and where the wire is this is going to be the inside of the thing now you're wondering why didn't she just sew it on straight well could have and i thought of that because that would mean that you'd have more movement space to just do it but this way it will keep the form wait this form and also that's the way noses look will I regret it later keep on watching to see that so all I did was um, just you can't really see it which is good because that was my big fear that you might just see it um, <laughs> just took a relatively thick needle took some thread and then just punched through the thingamabob the wire the plastic around the wire and to make it stick and then just sewed around the edges a couple of times keep it to the fabric yes now i'm gonna sew my front piece to my back piece already tidy my friends pinned it you can wait can i show you can you see that can you see that that is the the thread it's not a thread what is it you know like the thing that keeps the mask up i left some of the original fabric from the mask i harvest harvested this from on there because it might be easier for my sewing machine to hold on to except for that one part because that one tore out so there's no fabric left on that one but with the others i did that as well um i originally planned on when i flipped it to just pull it all out through this end but I decided against it because um, as you can see that's one of my fabric strips from earlier and it's very there's not a lot of room so I'm kind of scared that whenever I flip it and then fold that end you know that seam in to to close it up finally I might just end up completely vanishing and looking weird so I left this end open and then I'm just going to try and pull out everything through that one and hope that works. So all I'm doing now is just sewing around the edges. My wire is in there. I need to keep an eye out for that because it might A, break my sewing machine needle and B, I want it to be in the mask and not outside. Uh, I'm also going to have to keep a lookout for the sharp edges because I want them to come out really sharp looking which is always a challenge and yeah that's it see you on the other side alrighty tidy um 
This is how it looks like when all of the sewing is done. Okay, um, I'm done. Look at it. Could have been, could have been a bit better, actually. Could have added another strip down there, but now it's too late. <laughs> That's life. We're done. We made a face mask. I mean, it does a job. Its job. It covers. Well, well, now I'm gonna have to freaking iron it again. <laughs> Yay! No, it does its job. It covers mouth and yeah, mouth and nose. Um. Thank you for sticking with me. Is this a proper tutorial? Probably not. I just went along with it. I don't know if you've learned anything. I don't know if I've learned anything. I'm gonna rework the pattern a little bit and then upload it to the blog and put the link in the description below so you can try it yourself. Uh, it's not that hard, it's just way more complicated than just making a simple normal mask. <laughs> uh, hey, that's just it. Um, <laughs> sorry. Ah, it's almost 3pm. PM? Yeah. And it's so grey outside so I get really, really sleepy. Skinakatagawa's little face mask from Bungo Stray Dogs, kind of. I'm saying it's gin inspired because it doesn't fully look like it. I should have picked a lighter fabric as well, but that's not the point here. I made a face mask. Wear your mask kits. Like gin. Be like the better Akatagawa sibling and the smartest cookie in all of the Port Mafia and wear your face masks. Follow along. This was probably really chaotic, still. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to check out my socials. Please feel free to check out the blog. There's not a lot of stuff going on there, but I will try and remember to upload the pattern there. If not, you can just really easily make it yourself by tracing a face mask that you already have, putting lines on there, cutting out the lines, making them, turning them into strips and just doing it like that. It's not that hard. I'm. What am I gonna do? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe and never forget to always, always, always wear your mask.